Worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God, a pleasant morning to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to another reflection. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we worship and adore you for the gift of another day. We humble ourselves before your throne of mercy. Clothe us, O Lord, with your righteousness. Speak to us expressly, Lord, and let your word guide us into all truths. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The theme of our reflection this morning is Flee from the Evil Counsel. And our Bible passage is Proverbs chapter 1, verses 8 to 19. My son, hear the instruction of your father, and do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head, and chains about your neck. My son, if sinner entice you, do not consent. If they say, Come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lock secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like sheer, and hold like those who go down to the pits. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in your lot among us. Let us all have one pause. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They lost secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owner. This is the word of the Lord. The theme again is flee from the evil counsel. In our world today, ritual killing, kidnapping, murder, and all sorts of criminalities have become the order of the day. The writer of today's passage, Solomon, in his wisdom envisaged that such things would happen and some Christian might be lured into ungodly practices. Therefore, in his admonition, he emphatically stated that we should not allow sinners to entice us because some will be induced with material possession by sinners. As children of God, we should always remember that it is the blessing of God that enriches people and add no sorrow. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. We should not follow the multitude to do evil. Rather, we should flee from every appearance of evil because evil company corrupts good manner. Many people have gone into these evil practices because they have received evil counsel from others. An India M. smoker was, no doubt, lured into it by friends. Parents are therefore advised to keep watch over their children so as not to join bad gang. Whatever seems like achievements of the wicked are just for a while. Psalm 1 verse 6. Any material possession obtained through bloodshed, fraudulent activities and criminalities will on the long run turn to sorrow and curse. Judas Iscariot never spent a dime out of the money he received to sell Jesus to his enemies. Even in our days, those who corruptly enrich themselves end up spending the loot on sickness and their children don't do well. Therefore, godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 As you go about your daily activities, I urge you not to walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners. Psalm 1 verse 1. Let the word of God guide you in all that you do, and you will not be overwhelmed by evil counsel. This is a reflection for today. Our memory verse is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. Let us pray. My God, I pray that you enable me to constantly meditate on your word, so that anything contrary to your word will not have place in my life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.